We use SMART goals, which um, S is for specific, M is measurable, A is the action they're going to take, R is reachable, if the goal, you know, how, if the goal is reachable, and then T is timely, and they set a time limit for that. So we've talked about that throughout the year. So let's look at that test and see which, let's look and see which questions you missed the most of. Okay. So we missed, this one is about prokaryotes, cells, right? One on cells. When we meet as a group, I'll look at, I have them take out their old goal, goals and we look at them and discuss whether they met their goal. And they can either continue with that goal or they, and if they continue with that goal, they have to make some changes to it. And we talk about, okay, you didn't meet this goal, so why didn't you meet this goal? Um, and what do we need to change to get there? And then if they do meet that goal, they can set a new goal. So what, you, what I want you to do is anytime we um, finish your playlist, anytime you get finished with your stuff you have to do, um, go back and do ex extension activities focusing on those, that cell topic, okay? So we're gonna write that in here. With the SMART goals, I try to um, encourage them to keep it science related because um, sometimes they just want to, you know, do other things like their YouTube gaming type goals, which is fine occasionally, but I like to, for them to keep it science related. But it can be, there's some students that strub, struggle getting their playlist done. Maybe they socialize a little too much, so they can set goals based on that. Um, they can set goals based on a specific assignment um, or if they know there's a quiz or a test coming up. So they kind of have flexibility in this specific goal that they they said.